Welcome back to Tech After Dark. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to fix your RTX 3060 video card so it's compatible with your Asus motherboard or any other motherboard. I'm going to show you how to find your motherboard's name, download the most recent BIOS update, and update your BIOS. And from there, your video card should work. And yeah, if you hear the one long beep and three short beeps, that means the video card isn't working. So you're just gonna have to go in and fix that. But that's the best way to know that your video card isn't working. So you can just follow these steps and we'll walk you through how to fix it. Let's go right into it. First, we'll go to Google and we'll search CPUZ. So let's click the most recent link here, download now. And that's on cpuid.com. I'll have all the links in the description as well. Open it from this link. Say yes. I accept, next, next. Create a desktop icon and install. And we don't need to view the readme. So let's click finish. Let's load up CPU ID and just say yes. It'll load up all of your computer's information. Let's not check for updates, say okay. Let's go to the main board here and we'll find the model name, which is what we'll need to update the BIOS. And this will vary on computer to computer, but my motherboard is an Asus. So but we'll just type this in here. So P8Z77-B space LK BIOS update. So we'll just search that and we'll go to the support page here and we'll just download the newest update here. So version 1402, which came out in 2014. You even see all downloads and over the years they've updated it. So let's just download the newest version here. So we'll have it right here. We will actually need to We'll need to put that on a USB drive. So get your USB drive, plug it in your computer. It pops up here. So let's just drag the update onto your USB drive. And this is a Windows 10 USB drive, but you can still use it. So that's the update right there. We'll close out of those windows. So we'll need to go to start and restart here which will go into the bio settings here and we'll make sure everything is in order and press F2 or delete. So there's three steps we need to go into this. If you've already plugged in your new video card, your 3060, you can just leave that in and you can unplug the eight pin and six pin connectors and just leave it like that. And then you can plug it into the integrated graphics, which is usually an HDMI or VGA or whatever you have. If you haven't put in your video card, then that's great. If you have your old video card in there, then you can just leave it in there and just make sure you update the BIOS before you plug in your video card. If you have no video card, you can just leave it like that and just make sure you have it plugged into your integrated graphics and you're able to boot into your BIOS. And another thing to note, some certain keyboards don't work and you can try plugging into the USBs and stuff but sometimes you might have to use a different keyboard to go into the BIOS to be able to press F2 and delete. So let's restart. And from here, we'll just wait until it restarts and then we'll start pressing F2 and delete. So we'll hear one post. And here it loads up. Within here, you just wanna make sure that we have the normal system performance. We don't wanna have ACES optimal because then the video card doesn't run for some reason. So just make sure it's on normal and then we'll go into advanced and we'll change all the settings. Press okay. And we'll just go over to the tool option on the top right. Go to ACES EZ Flash 2 Utility and then we click on the BIOS update and press okay. And I've already done this, but it will just take a few seconds. It will restart and you'll have a brand new BIOS, but just make sure you don't unplug any cords or anything, or you'll need to reset your BIOS by just 
popping out the CMOS battery or the CR2032. So after you press OK, it will boot up and we'll actually go to our boot settings and we'll go to CSM, Compatibility Support Module. So from here, we'll just make sure that our PCIe is on UFI driver first. So we'll just select that and we'll also want, we'll actually go to our boot settings and go back here, disable fast boot. That's another issue I've had. So make sure that's disabled and that's good for the BIOS. So you can just press F10 and save it and it will reset. After this boots in, you'll need to shut it down and plug in the two pins for the video card. And from there, you'll unplug from the integrated graphics, computer's HDMI cord or VGA or whatever monitor you have output, and you can plug it into your video card now. So that's how to fix your RTX 3060 video card or any 30 series video cards. From there, you can enjoy your video card at ease and just make sure you don't mess with the BIOS too much because if you mess with it too much, then sometimes the video card doesn't work and you'll have to unplug the video card and plug it into your HDMI cord or output. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.